progeria. What if we tell you there is a disease that could decrease your entire lifespan into a decade? Well, that's a reality in which progeria affected people live. Progeria, also known as hutchinson gilford progeria syndrome, is an incredibly rare genetic condition that causes children to age rapidly, almost like watching time-lapse photography in real life. Only about 1 in 20 million births are affected. This happens because of mutation in a gene that helps keep cells stable. Children with progeria look normal at birth, but within a couple of years, they start showing signs like not growing properly, losing hair and body fat, getting stiff joints, and having heart problems. Interestingly, while children with progeria are physically weak and at risk of almost every disease, their intelligence and emotional health are the same as that of an average healthy child. Heart disease is often what takes their lives, usually by the time they are teenagers, since they typically live only around 13 years. Researchers are still looking for ways to help these kids live longer and healthier lives, but no progress has yet been made. Noma, orofacial gangrene. Noma, or orofacial gangrene, is a severe infection that mostly affects young children in very poor areas of Africa and Asia. Imagine a small infection in the mouth that quickly gets worse and starts to destroy the face. It often starts with swelling of the gums and can spread to the cheeks and lips, leading to severe damage in just a few days. This happens because the children affected by Noma usually don't get enough food and live in places with poor hygiene. The disease gets worse very fast if not treated. But if it's caught early, antibiotics and better hygiene can help stop it. Unfortunately, if Noma isn't treated, it can be deadly with over 80% of affected children not surviving. Those who do survive often have serious scars and find it hard to eat, speak, or interact with others because of their appearance. Doctors and health workers are trying hard to teach people in these areas how to stay clean and healthy to prevent Noma. Simple things like proper nutrition and good hygiene can make a big difference in stopping this terrible disease, fatal insomnia. Fatal insomnia is a terrifying disease that stops people from sleeping until they eventually die. Yes, you heard that right. Imagine not being able to sleep no matter how tired you are. This condition is caused by a genetic mutation that affects the brain, specifically a part called the thalamus, which helps control sleep. People with fatal insomnia start to have trouble sleeping in mid-adulthood. It begins with mild insomnia, but soon leads to complete sleeplessness. As the disease progresses, other severe symptoms appear, like hallucinations, rapid weight loss, and dementia. People with fatal insomnia cannot sleep at all, and their bodies and minds deteriorate quickly. Unfortunately, there is no cure or effective treatment for this disease. Most people with fatal insomnia die within a year to 18 months after the symptom starts. Researchers are studying this disease to understand more about how sleep works and why it is so essential for our health. While they hope to find treatments in the future, fatal insomnia reminds us how crucial sleep is for our survival and well-being. For now, those affected face a challenging and heartbreaking battle against this brutal disorder. Congenital insensitivity to pain. Imagine a world where you can't feel pain. Sounds like a superpower, right? But for most people with congenital insensitivity to pain, it's more of a curse. This rare genetic condition means they can't feel pain at all. It happens because of mutations in a gene called SCN9A, which is responsible for sending pain signals to the brain. Without pain, these individuals can hurt themselves without even knowing it. They might break bones, burn their skin, or get infections, all without feeling a thing. Parents of children with CIP must be extra careful to protect them from everyday dangers. For example, kids with CIP might bite their tongues or touch hot stoves without realizing the harm. While scientists study CIP to learn more about pain, those who have it live a life full of hidden risks. Nearly 1 in 25 million children are affected with CIP, meaning they have weak sensory systems that might not allow them to smell or feel extreme temperatures sometimes. Foreign Accent Syndrome While many fake their accent as a joke, some are born with a condition that allows them to speak in a different accent every day, even if they have never heard it before. We are talking about the Foreign Accent Syndrome. It's a rare motor speech disorder that can change someone's native accent to something foreign, usually after a stroke, head injury, or other brain problems. The first known case was reported in 1907, and since then, only about 100 cases have been documented worldwide. Scientists are still trying to understand why this happens, as it is confusing to understand how the brain processes language it has never registered before. 
Typically, it's not an accent change, but rather a brain disorder that does not let humans make sounds correctly. And thus, people with FAS might find themselves speaking with an accent from a place they've never been to, which can be confusing and isolating. This condition can also occur after seizures or a severe migraine. People with a history of mental health conditions like hyperactivity in a specific part of the brain are more at risk of contracting this disease. Mere touch synesthesia. If you ever thought the medical world was all about flu and fevers, then think again, because there exists a condition that lets you feel someone else's touch as if it were happening to you. We are talking about the weird and rare mere touch synesthesia condition. When they see someone else being touched, they feel the touch on their own body. This condition is caused by extra activity in the brain's mirror neuron system, which helps us understand other people's actions and emotions. While this increased empathy can create strong emotional connections, it can also be overwhelming. Everyday activities like watching a movie or being in a crowd can become intense experiences filled with shared sensations. People with mirror touch synesthesia live in a world where boundaries between themselves and others are almost non-existent. This condition gives scientists valuable insights into how empathy works in the human brain and proves that our connection to others run deeper than we might think. For those with mere touch synesthesia, life is a constant reminder of our interconnectedness as every touch they witness is felt deeply within themselves. Dissociative Identity Disorder Another weird condition related to the human brain and its interconnectedness with its surroundings is dissociative identity disorder, which is when different personalities control your mind each with its own memories, behaviors, and characteristics. Formerly known as multiple personality disorder, DID often develops as a coping mechanism in response to severe trauma during early childhood, such as abuse or neglect. The mind splits into separate identities, or alters, each taking control at different times to handle the trauma. These alerts can be very different from one another, with unique ages, genders, and even medical conditions. Switching between alters can happen suddenly, often triggered by stress. While DID is often misunderstood and dramatized in the media, it's a real and challenging condition. It shows the different ways a human brain copes when dealing with severe trauma. People living with DID have to remain distant from stressful environments or discussions that might trigger their brain, which once again makes social interaction a challenge. These people might also struggle with repetitive disorders. For example, if one personality suffers from an eating disorder, the other personality might also adapt to it, making their daily life more challenging. Gilles de la Tourette syndrome. Imagine your body making sudden movements and sounds you cannot control. This is what happens to people with Gilles de la Tourette syndrome. It's a neurological disorder that usually starts in childhood. People with Tourette's experience tics, which are involuntary movements or sounds. These tics can be as simple as blinking or as intense as jumping or shouting words. Sometimes, these tics can be embarrassing or disruptive, making daily life confusing and challenging. The exact cause of Tourette's is unknown, but it's believed to involve a combination of genetic and environmental factors that affect the brain's neurotransmitter systems. While tics can be intense, they often can improve with age. Despite misconceptions, Tourette's doesn't affect intelligence or life expectancy. There are treatments that can help manage the symptoms, including behavioral therapies and medications. While it's a rare disease, doctors have confirmed that every 1 in 100 school-aged children have diagnosed Tourette's, and just like many other neurological disorders, boys are more at risk of this as well. 85% of people affected with Tourette's syndrome are also likely to experience other disorders such as ADHD or OCD. While the disease has been found to be a genetic one that can be passed down the bloodline, there is no definitive explanation of what is causing it yet. The Stone Man Syndrome a rare disease where your body turns into stone. This condition is called fibrodysplasia ossificans progressivia, also known as stone man syndrome. FOP is an extremely rare genetic disorder that causes muscles, tendons, and ligaments to turn into bone. It affects about one in two million people worldwide. This condition is caused by a mutation in the ACVR1 gene, which is important for bone growth. Symptoms usually appear in early childhood, starting with malformed big toes and sudden flare-ups that trigger bone growth. Over time, these flare-ups create a second skeleton, severely limiting movement and causing major disabilities. Even minor injuries or medical procedures can worsen the condition and speed up bone formation. Most parents of children with FOP do not have the disease, but it has a 50% chance of being passed on to future generations. There is no cure for FOP, 
and treatments are mainly focused on managing symptoms and preventing flare-ups. Researchers are exploring potential therapies, including drugs and genetic approaches, but progress is slow. Maybe a breakthrough in regenerative medicine might come a lot later than we are expecting. Alice in Wonderland Syndrome Patients suffering from this syndrome find everything around them look strange and distorted, like in a dream. Named after Lewis Carroll's famous book, this neurological condition causes distortions in perception, sensation, and time. Some believe Carroll might have had AIWS himself. People with this condition might see objects as much larger or smaller than they are, feel their own body parts are changing size, or experience time passing strangely. These episodes can last from a few minutes to several hours and often come with migraines, epilepsy, or viral infections like Epstein-Barr virus. AIWS is believed to be caused by unusual electrical activity in the brain, especially in areas that control how we see and perceive things. To diagnose it, doctors listen to the patient's descriptions of their experiences and rule out other conditions. There is no specific treatment for AIWS. Instead, doctors treat the causing issues like migraines and provide support during episodes. Even though AIWS is usually mild and goes away on its own, its strange symptoms can be unsettling. Which of these diseases did you find most surprising? The comment section awaits all your questions. For more interesting videos, click the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell. You don't want to miss anything. See you in the next video.